Back at the bus, back at it again with another episode with a very special guest to us, none other than JP. What's going on, man? Oh, <laughs> oh the salute? The salute? You gonna hit us with the salute? Okay, all right, I feel you. We got something special to talk about. It seems that it has just been announced that a Black Panther game is in development. I should cite it, but given what I've been hearing, I have mixed feelings about it. There should be a Black Panther video game because, like, and this was around the first movie came out. He's hot in the MCU right now, so naturally you should greenlight a video game, just strike while the iron is hot. According to the uh, the synopsis of the gameplay there, you do not have the option to play as T'Challa. It sounds pretty poignant given what we're getting out of the movies, like you said. It, se it seems pretty definitive, but there, I guess there's a, there, there is some gray there. There's a little bit of gray. There could be a chance that the Black Panther we play as in the game is T'Challa because let's remember his origin story involves a previous Black Panther dying, which is his father. Mm -hmm. So this game could just be one big retelling of T'Challa's origin story, but... If we were talking about a Superman game, would they have a hard time saying the story starts out with Clark Kent? Nope. If we were talking about Spider-Man, would they have a hard time saying this story starts out with Peter in Brooklyn? Peter, first year in college. Like, if you're not going to buck canon, it's very easy to just say the story starts out with T'Challa, and that is enough for me to question it on top of what seems to be the the Marvel-wide brand of how to handle T'Challa at this moment, comics and otherwise. But in the in the instance that it is, you know, a an origin story for T'Challa, what kind of parts of T'Challa's lore do you think stick out the best or fit a video game format the best? Kind of kind of similarly to what you were mentioning about Arkham Asylum with Batman. It's the villains for, for me. Like, I just want to see what they do with some of T'Challa's rogues gallery. And I'm not talking like other big name Marvel characters like Doom or Namor. It's like, I just want his in-house rogues gallery. D-Real with D-Rail said this once is that T'Challa actually has his own rogues gallery. It's just that the problem is like writers hardly use them. Sometimes they use Hunter the White Wolf, but other than that, it's just kill Monger and Claw, and I would say M'Baku, but thanks to the MCU, he's pretty much viewed as a good guy these days, so. They could do stuff like revamp some villains like Baron Macabre, Sombre, just so much they can do with video games regarding the Black Panther lore. I think on top of the villains themselves, I think it would be really interesting to see you play as not only the Black Panther, but as T'Challa, as a king, I think being able to manage Wakanda and all the things that come with being a king of Wakanda would be an interesting gameplay point. That's what I would like to see in the video. I, I hadn't thought about it like that, but remember we were talking about the kind of the open world gameplay of Red Dead when we were talking about Clint when we were gaming earlier. What if you had to decide what tribe gets more vibranium for a month or something like that and that causes a conflict, you gotta go out there and stop a fight or something. Like that gets, that's a random mini mission, kind of like building on itself that that we've got out of rockstar but that's a different studio probably much better game over there I have to build alliances with other kingdoms in the marvel universe like if you play your cards right you won't even have to fight namor at all like namor can actually be your ally or yeah something like that yeah are we overdue for this game do you think i mean being that the 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 height of the popularity around this character was more so around the first black panther do you think we're in any way overdue for a Black Panther video game. I wouldn't say we're overdue. Video games take years to make. If the rumors about this game are true, about it apparently being in um, early development, it could have gotten greenlit somewhere around 2019 or 2020. So I don't think we're overdue, but the War for Wakanda DLC for the Avengers game, it was very well received. It briefly helped the game rebound in sales and Big point is, is that people praised Christopher Judge's performance, so that tells me right th there that people won't have a problem with T'Challa leading the Black Panther project in a di different media, um, even though Chadwick Boseman is no longer around. How do we feel about the fact that EA is at the helm of this, especially considering 
EA has gotten a lot of bad press, specifically around things like microtransactions and, and things of that nature. How do we think that that will, A, impact the video game, but, you know, how do we just feel about them as a company taking over this, this IP? Let's just say, like, yes, EA was an automatic red flag to me, because I'm like, damn, was Sucker Punch not available after seeing stuff like Ghost of Tsushima and all that? I'm like, bro, just let them handle it, but... Here we are with EA, so let's just remember that EA is just simply the publisher. Apparently, the studio that's making the game is the one that did Shadows of Mordor. I believe they're also the same one that's doing the Wonder Woman game that's coming up, so the EA's greedy asses decide to, to step in and put like loot boxes and microtransactions in there. I'm like, no, no, you lose me. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that'll definitely help cheapen the brand of Black Panther. And that's something that, especially in this era of what we're going through with T'Challa and the IP, that's something that we probably don't want. Uh, but we'll see. I don't, I don't know. I don't have too much faith in EA outside of some of the sports games that they make, but we'll see. Does Disney have a an exclusive deal with EA or can they lease those the the rights out to the characters to any gaming studio they can license out their characters to anybody that they choose like obviously like Spider-Man and Wolverine they're over at Insomniac right now so stuff like Kingdom Hearts the Avengers game so they can license them out to whoever they think is the best fit for their characters I do feel like this medium would be T'Challa's last hope at the moment because right now the comics are trash thanks to John Ridley's bad writing. Obviously, you got the situation in the MCU, so John Ridley run trash. ends around it, it ends around issue 15 or so. That's when they'll get the message that it's not selling and they they, they can see the trend is clear and it gets scrapped like Fallen Angels, which Fallen Angels was written by that guy, the uh Brian Hill. Did you like Fallen Angels? I actually haven't read, but I do like Brian okay. Hill's writing based His on writing? Killmonger Mini. Okay. Okay. Like, he made a good first impression. Okay, good enough, good enough. But, so, I'm thinking eventually, if they do the one-shot, it's popular, maybe it turns into a miniseries. Miniseries into the ongoing, because it sells, right? But here's my problem. I can't take it at face value that Marvel is going to do that right now because that would be perpetuating T'Challa, which doesn't seem to be a focus on any platform at this point. What impact do you feel like that has on the other mediums? Is that something that can kind of work retroactively if there's a significant significant push or significant growth for him in the, the video game space? Is that something that you see translating backwards? That's usually the other way around where the film influences the game to a certain degree. But then you also see certain instances where film franchises have been spurred by video games as well. What do you what do you think? The one thing I've always pushed hard for a Black Panther video game to possibly be made, especially in the wake of Marvel decide not to recast the character, is that if you've just been paying attention like to the Marvel games, like video games are literal, well, console games specifically are basically the one medium that hasn't been touched by the MCU's influence. Like um, the Insomniac Spider-Man games yeah, and the, even the Guardians of the Galaxy game, like they're just completely their own thing. And even then, like if you just look, pay close attention to No Way Home, you can see that Peter does some moves that he did in the PS4 game when he's fighting Green Goblin. So let's not forget that video games make just as much money as movies nowadays. Like that's a billion dollar industry and that can be very beneficial to his growth as a character in terms of keeping him in the public conscience. Video games, especially big budget AAA video games take years to develop. Like the average developer time for these kind of games is like three to five years and apparently it's in early development so it's 2020 now now so looking at a possible 2025 to 2027 release date that's three to five years after the re release of black panther wakanda forever and here's the big 
That's five to seven years after Chadwick Boseman passed away. So if you're planning on killing T'Challa here too to try and ride the MCU's coattails, you're shooting yourself in the foot because by the time this game comes out, I don't mean to sound insensitive, but audiences would have largely done mourning Chadwick Boseman by that time. So as much as we've criticized the MCU for how they're handling T'Challa, at least Ryan Coogler and the rest of that cast and crew can say that Chadwick Boseman was their friend and they just felt uncomfortable replacing him. But the people making these games, they can't claim that they knew him personally. Maybe Marvel would have recasted T'Challa as a variant in time for that Secret Wars movie. So how awkward is that going to be where you kill T'Challa in this game to try and ride Black Panther 2's coattails only for it to come out years later and then T'Challa is possibly returned in the MCU? Like, doing yourself no favors by killing this character in a completely different medium where you can do whatever you want. Hashtag play as T'Challa. Bad enough that they went and killed him in the MCU, but we just gotta let them know they don't have to kill him here. Hashtag play as T'Challa, for sure. Last question for me is, if Back of the Bus did a gameplay of said game, would you watch it? Man, you already know. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> we might have to get start getting the gaming. Once again, we want to appreciate you, JP, for stopping by. We will definitely go ahead and link to the amazing articles that you have written and let them know where they can find you on social media. Instagram at John S. Paul underscore and Twitter, you can find me at John S. L. Paul. And on that note, we out. Like, share, and subscribe.